good one. So, so first of all, what is it like being in this clubhouse for this spring training for you? I mean, a new, a, a new surrounding. Yeah, it's it's been fantastic so far. Um, I've come in, you know, day one, and, and it's been arms wide open, uh, friendly faces. There's been a f couple familiar faces uh, from you know Tampa over there coming over here, um, and yeah, I, it's it's been a warm welcome and, and very exciting. When, when you found out that, okay, everything's, you know, what was it, a week ago that people could start reporting, how did you pick up and get ready to be here? Yeah, I mean, fortunately, I, this is my first camp out in Arizona. So um, I actually got out here in the beginning of February, um, just trying to get the lay of the land. Um, I think it was a pretty, pretty good understanding around the league that when something did get settled, it was kind of going to be, you know, pick up, ready to go type thing. And, and last thing I want to do was get rushed, um, you know, getting ready for this first camp with Milwaukee. So... I tried to prepare myself a little bit. Um, like, like I said, came down first week of February, um, and, and you know started to get to work down here a little bit. Um, so it, it's been an easy transition so far. When you were for, when you were able to start talking again with Craig and other people, what, what kind of message have you gotten from Craig, and what do you think of, of him so far in your first experience with him? Yeah, I think uh, he seems like a winner to me. Um, he, he he seems like. Uh, you know, he, he knows how to run a clubhouse. He knows how to get the job done. Um, and he knows how to kind of get the best out of his players uh, from what I've seen and, and from what I've heard from, from different guys around this clubhouse. So uh, I think he's going to be a really fun manager to play under and, uh, you know, a really good squad to play with. I, I asked Jace this, and I think it, it applies to you too. How do you know where you're supposed to be with all the different positions you may be expected to, to fill? Yeah, I mean, you never really know. That's what makes coming to the park every day a little bit more fun. Um, the, the only thing that I try to focus on is, is making sure I'm not bringing the team down at any of the positions that I play. Um, I want to feel comfortable enough to, to know that I can compete at a high level at any position that they put me in, and, and I want them to feel comfortable putting me in any position that they need to to, uh, to kind of help the team win. So, um, yeah, no, no really, uh, don't, don't really know every day which, which position you're going to come in and play, but... Um, you learn really fast, and then you put the work in to, to feel comfortable no matter what the, the lineup says. What does it mean that games start today? Yeah, it means, you know, the, the official, not official, but it, it means opening day is coming around real quick. Um, you know, with the shortened spring training, shortened games, uh, you know, it, it's really got to be a, more of a focal point on a day-to-day -day basis to, uh, to kind of get prepared and, and get that mindset and body right for, uh, you know, opening day coming uh, a few weeks here. So it's a big day today. When you when you do start to see other teams, does it make it a little more real? Like, okay, we're that much closer. Uh, things do start to count. Definitely, yeah. I think when you see uh, you know different colored uniform across the field and, and in the dugout, um, you know it, it brings out the competitive juices a little bit. I think as you know, as big leaguers, we all have that competitive nature, but um, it definitely brings another edge when uh, when you kind of see a different team on the other side. Andrew McCutcheon just walked by. What does a guy like him in this clubhouse mean? Yeah, uh, it, it it means a lot for me personally. I was uh, I was I'm a huge fan of the way he carries himself, the way he plays on the field. Um, I think I can <clears throat> I think I can learn a lot from him uh, just by kind of picking his brain. Uh, been around the league a while and knows a lot of pitchers. Uh, been in this division for a while, so um, I think he's going to be instrumental. I mean, there's so many guys that I. I'm looking forward to really getting to know on a personal basis and, and on a baseball level in this clubhouse, and, and he's definitely one of them. Yeah, how do you go about that? Is it is it talking to them? Is it just watching them? How how do you learn from them that way? Yeah, I like to I, I think I like to just be myself and, and have everybody kind of um, you know kind of just open up to me in their natural way a little bit. I think uh, very personal book guy. I think uh, so. But at the same time, there comes a point where, um, you know, you sit down and have that serious conversation, whether it be in a cage, whether it be, uh, you know, on the field, shagging fly balls or in BP, whatever it may be. Um, there's two different sides, you know, getting to know the person a little bit more and gets to know the baseball player. And then the really cool thing is when those two things mesh pretty well and, um, you know, you got characters all over this clubhouse, apparently. So, uh, yeah, it, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. How great is Omar Narvaez behind the plate? I mean, I, he's top tier. I mean, what can I say about the guy? He's just sticking, he's just sticking him, stealing strikes, just shooting runners out. I mean, yeah, he's, uh, I mean, there's a reason he's an all-star, so, yeah. The uh, last couple of things is, you know, guys come up to you, obviously. Do they ever ask you about the moment in the World Series? Yeah, they do, they do. And, and granted, it's, it's a great conversation starter, and um, it's a cool story, and I, taking myself out of the situation, try to be non-biased, understand that th there's some there's some cool moments that happen there. And um, the thing for me is I, that's just 
my mentality is I don't want that to be a kind of a, a one trick pony type thing in my career. Um, I think that's going to be hopefully just a chapter of a long career. Um, but it's definitely it definitely is a main topic starter. I will say that. Uh, a lot of the guys here know Phillips, obviously, sure. from his time here. When he had his moment, I'm sure guys in here are like, oh, yeah. of course. But so you, you had that, and like you said, it's not the defining moment, but it, you always had that For moment. Sure. So I guess how special is it that you had that early in your career mm -hmm. and now can you know build from it? Yeah, definitely. I think there's, I mean, obviously it's a special and a, a very cool moment, um, something that I'll always remember and hopefully a lot of fans remember. Um, I think at the same time that also taught me a lot. I think uh, I was couldn't be more fortunate enough over there in Tampa to you know be over there for three seasons, have three postseason runs. Um, you know, having that experience early on in my career uh, is really just going to set me, I think, personally up to to kind of have that mentality throughout my whole career as far as you know being experienced, knowing what to expect. Um, you know, postseason baseball, there's really nothing like it, and there's no way to prepare for it. So the only way that I think you can prepare best for it is um, to actually be in it and live for it. Uh, so I think having those situations early on in my career is, um, yeah, it, it's taught me right away that, that there, there's a, another level in postseason baseball, and uh, that's what we're all playing for, obviously. Yeah, and the guys that were here four years in a row into the postseason, sure. you've been there a lot. Hunter Renfro's been there, Andrew McCutcheon. Yeah. A lot of guys come in here with that experience. So does that add uh, expecta add to your expectations for this team? Definitely. I think um, you know, even without the experience, if we just base the pure talent on this or, uh, clubhouse, um, I think expectations would still be in postseason at least. So, uh, I mean, we're fighting. We, we know the one goal in this clubhouse. I think we're all pulling from the same end of the rope. Um, and yes, obviously having those interest, like those monumental guys in this clubhouse that have that experience, uh, been through it, been there, done that type of thing, know what to expect, like I was saying earlier. Um, that's just going to help the young guys, um, myself included, um, you know, kind of get those first couple inning jitters out of the way. Um, uh, way easier, I think. Yeah. And last question. Sure. Connor and Ozzy, new to this too new to you guys in the sense that they didn't get to talk to you guys during the off season until everything was lifted. What are they like and how does that work for you as a player to get used to uh, new hitting coaches? Yeah, so obviously I was, I was luck fortunate enough to have Ozzy over there in Tampa. <clears throat> um, so I kind of know his ways. We have a very good relationship, always have. He keeps things really light. <clears throat> Excuse me, as far as getting to know Dawson, um, we connected right away. I think they're gonna have a very good dynamic as far as a little yin and yang, um, maybe, and um, but they're both on the same page. Their their biggest thing is that they're they're great communicators, both of them. Uh, that's all we really ask for as players. Just shoot us straight. Let us know what you're thinking. Um, have an open dialect with everything. So, um, with those two having such a good relationship already, and and me connecting well with both of them, I think um, you know dynamic dynamic there is going to be uh, it's going to be a great one throughout the season. Perfect, Mike. Thanks for your Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you.